everybody. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. It's your girl, Lady Chanel Renee, and I am excited about this topic today. I, um, I, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed, and I just got a, a revelation, and I really just wanted to share it with you all. This revelation is about the big chop. It's about the big chop. And just a hint, for those of those of you that are my curly girls, this is not about hair, but the inspiration was from a hair video that I watched. So this is about the big chop and this is as it relates to your relationship. So if this is something that you are interested in or you're just curious about the revelation I got from the big chop, you definitely want to stay tuned. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Listen, listen, those of you that don't know who I am or if this is your first time here, my name is Chanel Renee and I am a purpose-driven performance coach and spiritual advisor and I love helping people to understand more about the divine strategies that they have access to in order to revolutionize their life. I do that through my consulting services, through my digital products, through courses, even through mentorship communities. And so I'm pretty busy, but I also enjoy um, giving you guys some free game on this YouTube channel so definitely make sure that you subscribe um, real quick again I mentioned this earlier but this is not a hair video however I enjoy watching curly girls and their hair I'm a naturalista as well and so um, my stylist definitely makes sure that she uh, takes care of my coils. One of the things I was watching earlier today was a Big Chop video. And those of you that understand what the Big Chop is, um, the Big Chop is um, where a girl decides that she wants to be curly. You know, she wants to have a healthier um, hair journey. And oftentimes, if you've been straightening your hair a lot, and even though you may use heat protectant sprays and gels and creams or whatever um, to protect your hair from heat damage, sometimes it doesn't always work. If you wear a weave or sew-ins or wigs and you know all of those things, sometimes we have um, we get our hair gets damaged one way or another. There's so many ways our hair can be damaged, and so. Products can damage our hair, heat can damage our hair, um, manipulation can damage our hair. So many different ways our hair can be damaged and abused. So I was watching um, this video and this this lady had some heat damage and you can literally clearly see the healthy part of her hair and the damaged part of her hair. And so she decided that she chose health um, that particular day and so her stylist was cutting off all the damaged ends come on somebody y'all 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 know where i'm going with this so when i looked at it at the end i mean her coils i mean they just it's like they just had new life you know the damage was weighing them down and you really could not see the beauty of her natural hair and the beauty of her her coils and her curls because the damage was weighing them down the damage made the hair shaft look terrible let's just be honest okay and so when the stylist cut that damage away y'all it's so satisfying it is so satisfying <laughs> satisfying okay you know, after that she conditioned her hair she hydrated her hair she did all those beautiful things to pour back into the health of her hair and so you know she was able to um come out with an, an amazing result at the end and so how does this apply to our lives how does this apply to our relationships how does this apply to our wellness and our our well-being how does this revolutionize our future well I'm so glad you asked because um, I want to share with you how the big chop in our life is necessary. You know, believe it or not, all of us come into this life and we grow up and become adults who have trust issues. We have damage, some, some type of dysfunction or damage that we experienced in life, and maybe even some type of trauma or abuse, okay? And so in this stage in our life, we've got to recognize that we may need a big chop. We may need to reset some things. We may need to recognize and, and, and embrace some things and be honest about some things in our life in order for us to experience the growth in order for us to have healthier relationships, in order for us to have healthier communication skills, in order for us to have healthier habits. And so I wanna share with you three things that 
will help you really get the best benefit out of the big chop, okay? And so the first thing is it preserves your emotional health. Remember we talked about with the hair. The hair had some healthy parts in it from the scalp, but the damage was dragging that health, that the, the hair down, right? And so if we don't cut out unhealthy relationships, unhealthy habits, unhealthy ways of living, unhealthy thought processes, the health that we are trying to get to, it, it, it's never really manifested. And so we've got to do a big child. We've got to recognize what are some unhealthy cycles? What are some cycles that are broken in our life so that we can make sure that we stop doing those things we stop going around that same broken cycle we stop being attracted to those same types of people that continue to damage us and abuse us along our journey and so we got to do that big chop y'all we got to preserve our health we have got to prioritize our emotional health i cannot say this enough this is for ladies and gentlemen you've got to preserve your emotional health on another video, I'm going to talk about how your emotional health is so important and is connected to your physical health. It's connected to your physical well-being. But for now, I want you to just focus on prioritizing your emotional health, okay? So the Big Chop preserves your emotional health. Secondly, it protects you from further damage, okay? So if you know anything about hair, you know, split ends. Have you heard the term of split ends? Split ends don't just start at the tip of your hair, okay? It doesn't just start there. It works its way up the hair. <laughs> okay so you may have some healthy hair growing right here but if that split in is working its way up guess what your hair is still growing from the scalp but guess what it ain't gonna get all the way down on your shoulder because that split in just worked its way all the way up and it's splitting that hair and so it's the same thing with um unhealthy relationships you may be in a in a situation or a relationship or a situationship where every time you're around that person you just feel drained you feel depleted some of you may even feel defeated Okay, just be honest, okay? And so you continue to stay in that state, that constant state of defeatism, depletion, um, discouragement, despair. I mean, come on now. You, you, you in turn, that, that same heavy weight that you are carrying, guess what? Your children, Come on, y'all. Your children experience that. I remember I was dating someone and they were not healthy for me. They, they were not healthy for me. They drained me. A lot of times people connect with me because they see the benefit of, of, and they may connect with you for the same benefit, but they see the benefit of a healthy person and they feel like, well, if I'm around this person, I can just, you know, I'm going to become healthy. Well, if you don't do the work, no, you're not. No, no, you don't you don't become healthy just because you're around other people. You become healthy being around healthy people by getting wisdom from that people from that person and doing the work on yourself, right? Not just being around, you can't just be around a chef and know how to cook. <laughs> if you're around a chef, you're going to learn to do the work, okay? The chef's gonna say, okay, this is how you chop up things. This is how you mince things. This is how you dice up things. And then you actually go in and practice and do the work, right? But just being around a chef doesn't make you a great cook. Sometimes people will wanna be around me because of that type of energy that I bring into a relationship, but they didn't do the work on themselves. And so that would drain me. And so I had to recognize the the, the areas where I was feeling drained and say, you know what, hey, this, is going, this isn't gonna work for me. This is where I need to do a big chop because this isn't working for my emotional well-being. I care about you, you cool, but not that cool. You ain't that cool. <laughs> so I'm not gonna continue to have further damage because I'm around you. I'd rather be around somebody that can match the energy that I'm bringing to the table. Does that make sense? Again, the Big Chop helps you to protect, to protect you from further damage, okay? Big Chop also positions you for greater possibility. So if I didn't chop off the people or, or break away from the people that were damaging me emotionally, then I wouldn't be open up for the great possibilities that I get to experience today. I get to experience great relationships. I get to experience supportive relationships, ex experience relationships where people aren't just pulling from me, but they're pouring into me. People that love on me like never before, people that support me, people that pour into me right it's a reciprocal symbiotic relationship 
right and so it's mutually beneficial for us and so the same thing like kind of with our hair now the lady that had the big chop she was able to see what her curl pattern really was right and she got to see the possibilities of what her hair could really do because it wasn't she wasn't hanging on to the damage right the same thing in our personal lives and our professional lives in our relationships intimate relationships all of that stuff we've got to be okay with patrolling the borders of our our territory or the, the borders of our lives, our boundaries, right? We've got to make sure that we are protecting our peace. We are protecting our joy. We are protecting our sanity. It is our job to do that. It is our responsibility to do that. And so some of you may need to do the big chop. That's really what this video is all about. Some of you may need to do the big chop and you've got to be intentional about it. You've got to be um, intentional about, about protecting you, putting you first and being, and being okay with, being okay with perhaps hurting someone's feelings to save you. When you are full of carrying a full weight of despair and de and you're depleted and you're defeated, you're not helping nobody else. You're not even helping your kids. You're not helping your environment. You're not helping out. You, you're not fulfilling your purpose. You can forget about that because you don't have nothing to give. You, you don't have anything to give. So my prayer for you today is that you, re you take this video and you really do an introspection inspection of your life of your environment of the people connected to you who has access to you what has access to you what you're spending time on what you're investing your time in what is taking energy from you is it worth it is it is the investment worth it <laughs> or is it damaging you is it prohibiting you from the health that you looking that you're looking for? Is it prohibiting you from um, experiencing a purpose filled life? That's really my prayer for you: is that you do the introspection, you do the work. Listen, I'm not leaving you out here just by yourself. I have resources down below. There's videos down below. There's digital products down below. There's even sessions available. For you uh, you get a free session with me down below the links are down below you can connect with me in my communities down below all of that stuff is down below check out some of the other content that i have out there for you find out for yourself who the lady really is what i'm all about before you just you know hang it up okay there's there's support for you there's support available for you and i would love to be on this journey with you again it's your girl chanel renee thank you so much for tuning in supporting the channel supporting me supporting you and i can't wait to see you on the next video have an amazing day Peace.